Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Only Bio. Presenting up the NCERT based MCQs from the chapter Human Reproduction. Friends, in this segment we are going to solve the MCQs from 41 to 50 and all of this will help all my students that are going to prepare for NEET, CET, KVP, YNET will also help the HSCI, CAC, CBSC students. Question number 41. The structures derived from ectoderm are dash. First, pituitary gland. Second, cornea. Third, kidneys. Fourth, notochord. And your options are A, 1 and 3. B, 2 and 3. C, 1 and 2. D, 2 and 4. And the correct answer for this question is C, 1 and 2. Because kidneys and notochord are mesodermal in origin. And what has been asked is that structures that are derived from the ectoderm. So pituitary gland and the cornea are derived from the ectoderm. Hence, the option C is the correct answer in this case. Question number 42. In the event of pregnancy, the corpus luteum persists under the influence of dash. A. LH B. FSH C. Chorionic gonadotropin D. Progesterone And the correct answer for this question is C. The chorionic gonadotropin This is a hormone which basically is responsible for retaining and growing the corpus luteum in the event of pregnancy. Question number 43. Cryptorchidism is a condition where dash A. One of both the testes are not developed. B. One or both testes fail to descend into the scrotum. C. One or both testes are not formed. D. None of the above. And the correct answer for this question is B. One or both testes fail to descend into the scrotum. An undescended testicle, that is in case of cryptorchidism, it is usually corrected with the surgery. So the surgeon carefully manipulates the testicle into the scrotum and stitches it into place. This technique is called as orchiopexy. This procedure can be done either with a laparoscope or with open surgery. So this is how it is corrected. Question number 44. Urine test during pregnancy determines the presence of DASH. A. Human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. B. Estrogen. C. Progesterone. D. Luteinizing hormone. And the correct answer for this question is A. C. The presence of human chorionic gonadotropin hormone that is the HCG hormone in the urine confirms the pregnancy. Question number 45. Which of the following hormones is not a secretory product of human placenta? A. Human chorionic gonadotropin B. Prolactin C. Estrogen D. Progesterone And the hormone which is not produced by human placenta is prolactin. Rest all hormones are definitely produced by placenta in different concentrations. Question number 46. Structure connecting the fetus to the placenta is dash. A. Umbilical cord. B. Amnion. C. Yolk sac. D. Chorion. And the correct answer for this question is umbilical cord. So umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta. It is a tube that connects the mother to the baby during pregnancy. And it has three blood vessels. One vein that carries food and oxygen from the placenta to the baby. And two arteries that carry wastes from the baby back to the placenta. Question number 47. Implantation takes place after dash of fertilization. A. 5 days. B. 6 days. C. 7 days. 
be 8 days? And the correct answer for this question is C. 7 days. Implantation takes place after 7 days of fertilization. Question number 48. How does human sperm locomote? A. Flagella B. Cilia C. Neutrophils D. None of the above And the correct answer for this question is A. Flagella So human sperm has a long tail, right? Which is a flagella or rather flagellum which helps in its propagation that is movement over here, your locomotion. Question number 49. Umbilical cord contains dash. A. Pluripotent cells. B. Cord blood stem cells. C. Blood stem cells. D. None of the above. And the correct answer for this question is B. So, umbilical cord contains the cord blood stem cells. Question number 50. The solid mass of 8 to 16 cells formed from the zygote after successive mitotic divisions is dash. A. Blastula B. Gastrula C. Modula D. None of the above And the correct answer for this question is C. Modula So the solid mass of 8 to 16 cells formed from the zygote after successive mitotic divisions is called as Modula Friends, I am sure the series will help you. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel and spread a word about it and start studying with me. Thank you.